Welcome back, cruisers, for the final time this week. Great to have you on board for our daily cruise news updates. Today we've got four stories lined up, as private carnival destination is primed for expansion. So stay with us as we explore this story and more, brought to you directly from cruisehive.com. The Royal Caribbean Group, encompassing Royal Caribbean International Celebrity Cruises and Silver Sea Cruises, is witnessing an unprecedented surge in cruise bookings during this year's wave season. The first five weeks of the calendar year marks the best ever annual beginning in the company's history, surpassing 2023 figures. With robust demand exceeding expectations, the debut of Icon of the Seas, the world's largest cruise ship, and enhancements to Perfect Day at Coco Cay contribute to the heightened interest. As a result, the 2024 investor guidance has been revised, indicating a strong financial recovery and positive outlook for Royal Caribbean's future. Carnival Cruise Line is unveiling the thrilling current zone aboard its latest vessel, Carnival Jubilee. Situated on deck 6 and 7, current immerses guests in an underwater wonderland with LED windows and dynamic soundscapes. The highlight is Sequest, a fun sub-adventure, featuring 6 LED portals and a 100-foot LED ceiling, offering a captivating virtual sub-ride. Guests can explore neon glowing grottos and encounter cosmic whale sharks. Carnival Jubilee, renowned for its Western Caribbean voyages, introduces currents and shows adding to its six theme zones. The ship's Texas-style charm and eco-friendly LNG operation makes it a standout in Galveston's cruise scene. Cunard Line's Queen Anne concludes final sea trials for a maiden 2024 summer season beginning in May. After rigorous testing in February, spanning 16 days from Fincantieri shipyard in Venice to dry dock in Palermo, Italy, the vessel is poised for delivery in April. With a capacity for 3,000 passengers, Queen Anne will embark on a maiden voyage to Lisbon, followed by summer expeditions to the Canary Islands, Norwegian fjords, Mediterranean, British Isles and Northern Europe. Carnival Cruise Line's upcoming private destination Celebration Key in the Bahamas is set for expansion. The destination is currently under construction and will be open in 2025. A new pier extension will accommodate up to four ships, including the XL class by 2026. With an investment of $100 million, Carnival's vision for Grand Bahama Island is set to redefine cruise tourism. The expansion signals a significant partnership with the Bahamas, providing economic growth and creating over 700 permanent jobs. Celebration Key anticipates welcoming 2.2 million guests annually by 2025, rising to 4 million by 2028, ensuring a prosperous future for the island. And that's it for me today, cruisers. My name is Paul and all the news you require is over on cruisehive.com. Now, if anyone has any news, you can email us at newstips at cruisehive.com. Please show your support by liking our video and please subscribing to our channel. I hope you have a good day, cruisers, and I'll see you in the next video.